Sometimes you gotta shoot the big crow and hang him in the yard as a warning to all the others. Take out number one, the rest fall in line, huh? This story takes place in 1948 Vancouver, what is now downtown Lower East Side. It's uh, full of weird and crazy denizens. Percy is a bookie who's come from the south, uh, moved to Vancouver many months ago and um, is on the lam for a crime he committed uh, down south and uh, he's undercover as uh, essentially somebody else in Vancouver as a bookie who's uh, trying to climb to the top of the ladder in Vancouver. Tell me, does he miss me? I don't know. We don't talk about you. I'm playing Helen Lawrence, who is kind of classic femme fatale. She comes to town, things fall apart, she has revenge on her mind, and, um, and she's there to kind of stir the pot. It's a theater, but it's also a film. It's filmed in Cinemascope. You're seeing both at the same time. So that is thrilling, and it's thrilling to be in on uh, Stan's vision. It's also extremely challenging. Are you a theater actor? Are you a film actor? Uh, what are your parameters? Uh, where's your camera? How much are you projecting? All of those have to be negotiated, and it's a huge challenge. Essentially, when you're not on stage, you are behind a camera, um, which moves on a dolly track, and that you are fully manipulating uh, camera angles, uh, lens sizes, etc., uh, which need to be very, very, very specific in order to match up with what the computer is doing. And the blonde, she's here. She's floating around somewhere. She might come by the hotel here. Good chance. When people come and see this show, there's going to be a small percentage uh, of the feeling that people might have gotten when they saw um, when they saw Wizard of Oz for the first time. And Dorothy walks out out of uh, black and white into color. There's a it's um, it's groundbreaking, and I think that there's going to be some some people inhaling when they see it for the first time. One thing that comes through is. Uh Chris and Stan's about passion for Vancouver and I think yeah. Vancouverites being the first to see it are super lucky because it is actually well researched uh, based on some historical characters 1948 a whole section of town that doesn't really exist anymore a whole uh, section of uh, society that we we haven't really explored it's after the war but before the kind of prefab 50s um, it's a tentative, anxious time, and Vancouverites are going to love it, and I think it's going to be a bit glamorous for the rest of the world to see Vancouver in that light, that 1948 kind of film noir light. People should come and see this show because they're going to see something they've never seen before. And that's easy to say. I mean, it's, that's an easy term to throw around, but I, I truly believe it. I, I, I think that um, when, the, when the media and the, the art comes together, I think it's going to be really impressive.